The story today is Our Dreaming. It was written by me and illustrated by Dub Leffler. It's a story about our people, how our elders pass our stories down to children so that we can take care of country for future generations. I can't wait. Oh, what a treat to be sitting in a story circle. <laughs> and we've got Big Ted, Little Ted and Kaya joining us too. Hooray! Go, Curly! This is how the story goes. Good jaga, little one. Walk with me. Off the little puggle goes on a bushwalk. I wonder what the puggle will see and learn. Well, let's listen and find out, Big Ted. By the river in the valley where the kangaroos rest under tall Darumbayang, I want to tell you our dreaming as the elders told it to me. There's the kangaroos relaxing in the shade of the eucalyptus tree. Our dreaming is different to the others, Gujaga. You see, each nation has their own. We keep our dreaming alive when we dulu in mother tongue and dance strong like our old people. Uh, Curly, uh, what does dulu mean? Dulu is an indigenous word of the Gunungara language and it means to speak, Kaya. Our dreaming lives in our stories, songs and art. It is our identity, purpose, and responsibility to our community. Our dreaming tells us of the creation, how Mother shaped us all from the very earth we yana upon, how the sacred sites, Gana, Marang, and more, were formed by the creator spirits. Marang means river. and how the spirits of our Buringiling guide and protect us now that they are one with the Audi again. The dreaming reminds us where we belong and that we are never alone. Bakujaga, the dreaming didn't stop after creation. It is here now, Yangul. Timeless, it is our future too. Yangul means today. We keep it alive when we share our gifts and knowledge with others generously. And we learn another's dreaming as we sit and yarn and listen patiently. That's what we're doing. We're sitting and listening to a beautiful story. That's exactly right, Kaya. We nourish ourselves with our ganyagalang when we eat food and medicine from our land, giving thanks to the plants and the animals that have cared for us. Just like the plants that we planted earlier, those plants will grow and feed us and take care of us. Our Ganyagalang finds us when we Nanangula on country, working and walking together, and when we protect Mother Daori. Ganyagalang is our way of being, belonging and sustaining land, culture and law. Our dreaming is our path. With footstones laid down by those who came before, we must make sure we always leave new ones for Gujaga to follow. That's the end of the story. Oh, Curly, that was such a lovely book. And it was about the dreaming of your people and about the future. That's right, the dreaming is very much about the future. We take care of the land with what came before so that everyone in the future can enjoy our country. Well, thank you for sharing your story, Curly. It was very special. Mm. And what a treat to be able to sit and share it together.